Hello, my name is Score Chaser, and welcome back to Score Plays Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. This is episode 5. In between episodes, I did some grinding to have everyone basically around the same level. I have recorded that. It's going to be at times 2 speed as part of an evidence log that will be submitted after this entire playthrough is there. So if you wanted to check that to see the legitimacy of the run, then that's there for you to see. And I saved right where I left off as far as exploring the cave. So everyone is at around at least 16th level. So. It's been about three days since I played. I took a little took a little break for myself. I need to go through this cave to get the Cerulean City. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's uh, currently the 22nd of October, and it is cold as all get out outside. Being new to the state of Washington, having been in California for the last 13 years, not used to uh, the weather dipping into the 50s and lower, and right now it's lower than that. I'm wearing my Cookie Monster slippers, some thick socks, sweatpants, a hoodie, the whole nine yards. I is a chili. Got the heat on, but I don't know, for whatever reason, my feet just can't get warm. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so gonna switch out my Pokemons. Okay. I actually ran out of uh, newer games to play for myself. I had been playing, and, and I know I'm saying newer is if something gets new to me, I've been playing uh, through Borderlands 1, the pre-sequel, and 2. Got those back in August, and I just finished doing those. I've got uh, Bioshock, but I'm having a little bit of trouble getting into it. I had not played... I had not played Bioshock either. It's something that came highly recommended. Oh, don't confuse me. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'm just a... It's not that I'm not getting into it. That's the wrong thing to say. I think I'm just burnt out on first-person shooters at the moment. And I say that, but I've been playing Doom all morning. Uh, 2016 and uh, the original. So. I don't know, but the original Doom is just... There's something special about that. There always will be. Remember the first time I ever played that was on the SNES? On that beautiful blood red cartridge. I had no idea at the time how horrible it was in comparison to, you know, the real versions of it. So playing it on the Switch is my first time having the full experience. I had it on my computer in 1997. It was the freeware version, so I only had the first episode. I played the ever-loving crap out of that, but for whatever reason, I couldn't do the keyboard and mouse setup, so I played it on a keyboard. Here I am talking using a move that's not very effective and not paying attention. Whoa, 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 what? Well, of course Doug Trio would have... No! Oh, jeez. 
Okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's new. <laughs> have not been frozen yet this run. <coughs> Pardon me. I didn't have a call for anything going into this playthrough, but now all of a sudden I do. But isn't that just the, uh, you know, the thing about it? You need to do something with your voice, and then, and only then, do you start having problems. And as soon as I finish, I'll be gone. It, it will be gone. Okay, I'm gonna go take care of Becky. Becky needs to be thawed. But yeah, uh, I also am loving 2016 Doom. I am waiting eagerly for... Doom Eternal to come to Switch. I don't have anything currently that can run it. So that's my only hope of playing it for the time being. I'd like to get my PC buffed up a bit. So I can play the new uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake and 3 Remake. And 7. I have yet to play 7. And I want to play it very, very badly. You know, I could possibly just get a PS4 and play them. It'll be cheaper to get a PS4 because of... The PS5 coming out in just like a month or so. But my only concern is I live out in the middle of nowhere. And we have no broadband internet. It's only through satellite. So we are stuck with data caps and very slow internet. We have a max capacity of 20 gigabytes a month before we get slowed down to a crawl and when it gets to that point the internet will constantly lose connection and so doing downloads takes eons so it's like I could do get a PS4 but then doing the uh, the system updates and downloading extra data to play some games it's just I don't know if it's even gonna be worth the hassle of trying which, which sucks. Something that I was actually considering was actually buying the PS4, sending it to a friend of mine, shipping it out of state to someone who does have high-speed internet, and asking them to do all of the updates for me, and then shipping it back. I mean, how asinine is that? But it's like, what, what other options do I got? <laughs> But I love my house. I love where I live. It's so peaceful. Trees everywhere. It's just... I don't know. It's amazing. But the, the one caveat is the internet. I can't play Pokemon Go out here. <laughs> like, literally, there is nothing within miles. So it's, I'm just gonna forward uh, all my Pokemon as soon as they do the update for Pokemon Home. I'm just gonna throw all my Pokemon into Pokemon Shield. Which is kind of sad, but it'll also be cool to be able to have the Rhyhorn and the Arcanine that have been my uh, my gym deposits for the last several years. This served me really well. Have I battled you? I think I did. Okay. A barboach. 
Get him, Becky. They really could have gotten a much better name for that move. So yeah, that's what I'm uh, um, currently considering. Like, sending it to a friend of mine, paying him to do the, uh, the downloads for me. Because otherwise it'll take me an eternity and it'll eat up all the data. Ow! try and battle her. Battle her. See what you got. Hey, come here. Wow, it's like totally bigger than I thought. Smell him. Ooh, ah. Becky, don't flinch on me, girl. Okay, Becky, we're switching tactics. We're gonna blow up a fish. Not very effective. Thunder shook. Oh, no, Becky, we're not using that. No, 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 no. Need to get rid of that move as soon as possible. Because I do not want to accidentally use it. Do I have any TMs? What moves does whack them all now? Get a scratch. Looks so pissed. I was like, hey! <laughs> Okay, Becky, you're getting expensive. down.
Diglett! It's a Diglett! Pocket sand! Door check, huh? I always nickname my Torchix Habanero. My little spicy boy. Ah, Becky. You're killing me. I can't keep a... I need this hold on to other potions. I'm sorry. Chicken nugget. Ah, oh, crap. Those guys tend to... They're, they're strong. Crap on a basket. Um, we need to leave. Oh, it's a ground type. Ah, I'd forgotten. Could have sworn that was an attack. Of course it did. Give you the ducks. Crap. Really? You didn't even hit yourself once. Everybody gets some. Um... You're flammable. <laughs> Yay! I do it again! I love it! Everyone's flammable down here. Okay.
Gonna use the escape rope. If only my Doug Trio knew Dig, that'd be great. Matter of fact, that's gonna be one of the moves I teach him. I'm just gonna try and avoid the random battles. Just to get to where I was so it's not wasting everyone's time. Unlike I'm not wasting your time now. You can be doing anything right now, but you're watching me play Pokemon. Which I appreciate. Aw, oh, fudge! Oh, my eyes! Arg! Hold on, Becky! Fudge! I just healed you! <laughs> You want to play with fire, huh? You know, I found it really cool that I had named my first Charmander a Zippo long before I saw the anime. And there was a kid that named his Char uh, Charmander Zippo, and I was like, ah! Oh! I thought that was so cool. Fudge! What is it with these Doug Trios? Oh, Becky girl, I'm sorry. But these Doug Trios are being butt fours. I don't appreciate the butt fours. thing. Got everything but a burn heal. I'm just gonna raise her later. I'll get back to you, Becky. I promise. I kind of wondered why they made the hikers such barrel-chested large men. I always find that a little, you know, just like, you know, weird. Not saying that large barrel-chested men can be hikers, but you would kind of equate such a demanding physical activity with someone who is much thinner. Ground, not rock. I am behind on my memorization of the typing. That's a rock type.
need that as a utility move because it will help me in caves when I am in tight spots. Stone. Okie dokie. Checking for items. Hey! Remember me? I'm your buddy. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you later. stretch of this cave. Anything up here? Yep. We must get all the items we can. Crap. Run. <laughs> That's useless. Well, I can sell it. Hey, it's a fish. like a beaver tail. Part fish, part beaver. Can you dig it? Fish, huh? We are gonna swap out to Zapper. He's good at playing duck hunt. Was the last rocket grunt? Oh, okay. It's a riot shoe. That must be the Clefairy. Rarity Pokemon of this cave. I'm still gonna stick with Whack a Mole until I reach the end of the cave because of all the Doug Trios. Appropriate. Uh, 
Smeargle. I don't think I've ever used a smearable either. He's a little demon puppy. The thing is that these fossils, they're going to be randomized as well. But I'm going to take the Helix fossil because praise Helix. Finally out of the cave. Still on Route 4, so I can't uh, catch anything here. They put that uh, those TM tutors in a very precarious place. You gotta go all the way back through Mount Moon if you wanted to teach Mega Punch or Mega, uh, or Mega Kick. Okay. Gonna go to the Pokemon Center. Gonna heal. And I will call this episode here. Thank you for joining me. Again, my name is Score Chaser. I hope you had a good time. Take care of yourself. Be cool to other people and uh, get yourself something nice. You deserve it. Bye-bye.